Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to factory reset a tuxedo, tuxedo touch Wi-Fi. All right, so there's actually four different kind of resets that you guys can actually do on a tuxedo touch Wi-Fi. Today we're going to be going over how to factory reset it. So the in the cases where you get a used tuxedo or you have a, a tuxedo that's been used on a different system before and you're transferring over to a new system and you basically want to start off with fresh new settings. Um, this goes for any of the settings for the keypad. This goes for any Z-Wave rules or scenes that you may have and it also goes for any of the Z-Wave device names. Now the factory reset that I'm going to be showing you guys today does not actually clear out the Z-Wave devices. That's actually a completely different reset um, or default. But what we're going to do today, the factory default, it's just going to clear the names. In order to clear out the Z-Wave devices, you have to do a different kind of reset, which we actually have a different video for. So today I'm just going to show you guys how to basically make the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi go back to default settings. That way you guys can start with a fresh new tuxedo. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do um, is we tap on the screen to basically light it up, illuminate it. And then we want to go ahead and go over to our settings in the bottom left hand corner. So the, that's the little wrench and gear icon right here. When I hit that, I then ha just have to go to system. After I go to system, I'm going to go to advanced setup and it's going to ask me for a code. I need to enter in my installer code. If your tuxedo is paired to a Vista panel, it's going to be the installer code on the Vista panel. If you have a tuxedo that's just powered on, it's not connected to an alarm system, then it actually has its own default code, which is 4140. That's the default tuxedo installer code. But again, if you have it paired to an alarm system, you want to use your installer code, which usually is 4112. That's the default installer code for Honeywell. Yours obviously may be different if you or your company has changed it. And as you can see, since I took so long to enter in the code, it backs me back out to the home screen. So again, I'm going to go to the little gear icon in the bottom left corner. I'm then going to go to System, Advanced Setup, enter in my installer code, minus 4112, that's the default. And now, to factory default the panel, you see on the left here, factory default, you just hit that, it's going to ask you to confirm, you're going to hit yes. It's asked, are you sure you want to restore the tuxedo device to factory default? All settings will be erased and the keypad will reset. Yes. So now it's going to go ahead and start its reset process. It's going to power down once it's complete and then power back up. Um, and then after that, you guys can go in, rename any of your Z-Wave devices. You guys can go ahead and recreate any um, recreate any scenes or rules that you guys have created connected to your Wi-Fi. If there's any other settings that you guys had changed, you can also uh, play around with the settings on there. Uh, one other thing that you guys want to do is if you guys are going to be learning in new Z-Wave devices, make sure or you make sure you get rid of the Z-Wave devices that you're not using. All right, um, that would be that would require doing the Z-Wave reset. And then if you're learning a new Z-Wave devices, just do the inclusion and, and the, the exclusion and inclusion just as you normally would. Um, as you saw, the tuxedo is going to power down. And then once it, re, once it defaults, it's going to power back up. All right, guys, so that was just a quick video on how to factory default the tuxedo touch Wi-Fi. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us at support at alarmgear.com. If you guys found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos, you guys get notified. And I'm George from Alarm Grid. I'll see you guys next time.